I think we could make that work. Wait until you see what Cybertruck will do. We do actually have a design for a submarine car, uh, like the one from uh, the, the Spy Who Loved Me, uh, the sort of the Lotus that turns into a sub. Um, and I actually, we're, I, I thought that was like the coolest thing I'd seen in a movie. So I actually, ha actually have that, the, the the ones from the movie. It's like technically possible. We, we actually do do have a design for a submarine car. Mm, Elon Musk is obsessed with sailing cars with submarines. So soon, very soon, we will have the first mass electric boat in the history. In this video, we're going to see in detail what the Tesla P will be like. The boat that will change the nautical world forever. Hi, this is Alejandro and welcome to the best moment in history. And now you could make this video sail over the YouTube neural networks if you would like it right now. Thank you very much. Cars and trucks and then yeah, boats and then planes. These words that Elon Musk said in Joe Brogat's podcast refer to the order in which each type of vehicle will make the transition to renewable energy. That is, boats after cars and trucks. How interesting. Paradoxically, if you pay attention in this list, Elon Musk didn't speak about rockets because this one will be the only mean of transport that will not be powered by renewables. Why? Because in the case of cars, ships, and airplanes, the kinetic energy generated by electric motors is transferred into movement when they come in contact with the road, the water, or the air. But what about space? In space, my friend, my dear friend, you're very alone. Attach. When a spaceship is in the middle of the cosmos, there is no atmosphere. So, until the next Elon Musk discovers a new source of propulsion, maybe that's you and you have an idea, please quit this video and start working on it. But otherwise, rockets will continue to be of combustion for a long, long time. But going back to the affirmation of the Joe Rogan podcast, Elon sees many problems in the close implementation of electric airplanes, since at the technical level, they need to have an energy density of over 400 watt hours kilogram, which has not yet been reached. And especially another problem, that is that the aeronautic industry is highly regulated. So to get a Tesla plane license, they would need to go through a slow and tortuous path. However, in the case of ships, neither of the two impediments occurs, since one, the energy density does not have to be as great as planes, because they do not have to overcome gravity to rise in the air, and Second, the nautical industry is much less regulated than that of airplanes. In fact, you just have to see that other car companies are already selling luxury judges. But the doubt that I have about this is, are Tesla batteries ready today for a ship with a high number of charge and discharge cycles? To answer this question, it would be ideal to have right now, next to me, next to us, a battery researcher to ask him. However, as Elon Musk said, Tesla, year after year, has seen these great experts achieve impressive results in their laboratories. But when they tried to implement them, these unbelievable improvements did not work when scaling production. But there was one day, one special day, that they met him. Jeff Tan, born in Nova Scotia, USA, immigrated to Canada in 1970. And there, at the Dillon House University, he became professor in the Department of Physics and Atmospheric Sciences and of the Department of Chemistry. When J.B. Strabble, the founder and former CTO of Tesla, saw the work that Professor Dan was doing on battery longevity, he was impressed. So much that Tesla decided to make an exception to its rule. That Tesla 
has only one university partnership in the world, and it's with us. This collaboration was so powerful that Fortune set of it in 2015, Meet Tesla's new weapon, a battery scientist. Well, let's now listen carefully at what the great chef Dan put as one of the application of the new Tesla batteries in this presentation. Four ideal applications first. However, our mistake is that we think that electric boats are yet to arrive, but they are already being used, as in the case of Bangkok, the most touristic city in the world that suffers from high levels of pollution. To alleviate this problem, they launched a network of electric ferries, or even two Swedish companies that already make electric boats powered by Tesla's batteries. Okay, it is clear that an electric boat is feasible, but which features would have the Tesla B? To guess them, you just have to see its last vehicle. Tesla Model Splat now is the fastest accelerating car, both in the 0 to 60 and in the quarter mile. So extrapolating to the sea, the future Tesla ship will be fast, very fast. And in addition to this, Tesla B will be the perfect product to join Tesla's three legs. First, the use of energy with its electric motors. Second, the storage of energy with its batteries, which we have already seen are submersible. And third, the production of energy. Because, as Elon Musk has repeated, Large surfaces are needed to be able to generate enough power and a ship has a lot, a lot of surface on its deck. Hey, and what about the design? To understand what the future of Tesla designs will be like, we only have to look backwards. When Tesla was designing its new SUV, Elon Musk wanted to have the most comfortable and yet spectacular doors in the world. So according to his chief designer, Franz van Holthausen, we work on 40 or 50 concepts to solve the problem, and I think we ended up with one of the most radical. And this concept took form in the arguably most famous doors in the world. But what started as just a design language for one part of the car, when Tesla on November 21st, 2019 unveiled the Cybertruck at the Tesla Design Studio in Los Angeles, it demonstrated that this radicalism was now going to be Elon Musk company's global language. And if it wasn't clear enough, just a few weeks later, on the delivery ceremony of Made in China Model 3s in Giga Shanghai, Elon Musk himself made it very clear what his next products will be like. You know, try, try something just like kind of radical, you know, like Cybertruck, you know. Nobody was expecting that, you know. And that's, uh, it's so, I think try to do something just like, you know, like just cool and different and something the world hasn't seen before. Uh, but like that really moves their heart, you know, it gets you right there. And that's, that's the kind of product that you want. We wish there were more of those things. Well, anyway, that's what we're going to do. Okay, but these are cars. How would that radical ship that touches your heart would look like? Many think it could be a super judge, like this impressive design of Drew Prasad. Amazing, but is it really radical design? There are some times that the best future inventions are those that have already been invented by the greatest geniuses. Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone, in 1911 applied a concept that had been developing for decades, that is of the hydrofoil. This hydrofoil is nothing more than an airplane divided in two. On the one hand, the hull that moves above the water, and on the other, the wings that are submerged inside the water. These latter parts, the nautical wings, use the same principle as the wings of an airplane, that amazingly, as the speed increases, it helps raise the boat. Well, but all this seems super inefficient. Hmm, otherwise. Thanks to the fact that the friction of the hull in the water is reduced, 
much greater range than traditional boats are a shift. And what about speed that is so important for Tesla? Precisely due to the same lower friction, this type of boats reach much higher speeds. In fact, the Graham Bell HD4 achieved speeds of 70 miles per hour, which were twice that of a boat of the same style at that time. And this brings us to what I think it could be the new Tesla B. The English architect Jonathan Swinch designed this HYSWA's house that looks like a cyber house ship. Thus, the pyramid that protrudes from the sea level would be the house, and the lower wing could hold the heavy batteries and drivetrain. Moreover, the interesting thing about this proposal is that this Tesla B design would be prepared for a world that Elon Musk fears. Door panels of the car are the 300 series stainless steel, and it's so tough that it's bulletproof to a handgun. And, and why is that important to you that it be bulletproof? I mean, I don't... It's badass and well, yeah, okay. super cool. That's super cool. <laughs> but see, I, I like mean, that answer. It's I mean, a good answer. Do you want your truck to be bulletproof or not? Well, yeah, I guess sure. I, I, I guess I want my truck to be bulletproof. Yeah, sure. exactly. But, you know, it's never know. When the apocalypse comes, it should be glad it's bulletproof. We want to be a leader in apocalypse technology. Exactly. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> how interesting. So, Elon, you're saying that in the apocalypse, your car should be bulletproof. But which other characteristics should it have? The, the net effect of, of the uh, air filtration system uh, is that you have air cleanliness levels which are comparable to a hospital operating room in the car. We can't even detect uh, any viruses or bacteria or spores. So it's like zero come through. If there's ever sort of an apocalyptic scenario of some kind, hypothetically, you just press the bioweapon defense mode button. <laughs> this is a real button. <laughs> so in the apocalypse, you have to be protected against bullets, against viruses. But Elon, I think that you have forgotten about one danger. You, that are laser focused in the transition to sustainable energies, what will happen if we don't do it fast enough? Yes, the ocean levels will increase, and for this, our Tesla B will be perfect because it will rise over the water, and as you can see, its hydrofoil system not only goes faster but it's also more stable. Lady, gentlemen, little lady, little gentleman, the Tesla V, it will be mind-blowing. Hi, this is Alejandro, and welcome to the best moment in history. If Tesla decided to design a ship, how do you think it would be? You live in the best moment in history. Enjoy! If you like this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, share it with the whole universe. And since I want to make interesting videos for you, I need to know what interests you. Write your suggestions. If you have enjoyed this type of content, subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future videos. I'm working hard to make the best possible content for you, but it takes time. Consider supporting me in Patreon, the best moment in history, so I can stop living under a bridge and continue creating content for you. There's a link in the description. Thank you very much from the heart. Gracias.